Greetings and blessings. Queen Wichi here with Queen of Forces Healing Ministries. I am here with a reading for the moon signs. It's been a while and I have been intending to do another video with the moon signs. Um, the moon is in Aries today, so that's where I'm going to start. Aries is the baby of the zodiac. Aries is the energy of Tuesday, Mars Day, and I have been feeling it, hence my red. So I have a red under this wrap. I have red shirt, red pants, red boots, red coat today. Just been feeling the red, and I needed that energy. So many of us do. That red is passion, courage, resilience, tenacity. Of course, on the shadow side, it could be, you know, anger, aggression. Um, but we can use this energy to our benefit. So let's do that. So I was like, okay, today's Aries day. The moon is in Aries. I have quite a bit of Aries in my astrological chart. I need to get some stuff done today. So one thing I wanted to get done was a tarot reading for YouTube. So here I am. So we're going to start, like I said, with the um, moon in Aries. So you check out your chart. Remember, go to astro.com. What else? Astrology.com? I don't know. Or you can just Google free astrology charts if you don't know your moon sign. But moon signs, is very important to know your moon sign and other people's. Again, that's about your um, your inner self, the mother, your emotions. And, you know, we meet people sometimes and we go, what's your sign? What's your sign? Honey, now I'm like, baby, what's your moon sign? Please tell me your moon sign. I need to know your moon sign. Because the moon sign is going to really tell you a lot about how people deal in relationships. Especially if you're romantically involved, you know, hey, let me know that moon sign. And a lot of people don't know, but some people do. All right, I'm going to stop there. Okay. Aries, moon and Aries, moon and Aries. Wow, you have all major arcana. And by the way, I'm using the Light Seer's Tarot. So it looks like you really are using that inner that energy, that this passion, this vitality, that's the word I'm looking for, vitality. There's a creative force behind you, within you, around you, that you're harnessing, and it's ever flowing. You know, I see the infinity. I'm looking at the magician card here. Um you're creating and creativity is another um, element of that Aries energy. You're creating masterfully though, not just happenstance. Like the, what I'm picking up here is like you're giving birth to something that you deserve to do, something that you were born here to do. And it's helping to bring balance. Also, there's karma involved. Meaning, again, if you were meant to do this, if you decided before you came to Earth that you were going to be an engineer, say, for example, and you've been doing other than that, but you've been dibbling and dabbling with it in some way, shape, or form, now it is time for you to really focus in on that and take it to the next level. It is actually time. And the more time, energy, and effort you put into doing what you're called here to do, the more your life just explodes and blossoms with so much growth and just so much positive energy. There's a freeing energy here with this creative force. There's peace, there's prosperity. Like, it's almost like 
even if you weren't really trying hard to do it, the the cycle in your life is it's just coming. Let's see if I can say that in a better way. It's time. Divine timing. Divine timing. Divine timing. Like, for me, one thing divine timing means is, again, that contract that you made before you decide to come here to earth. Like, I'm going to come to this place. And this is something I'm going to accomplish. You know, so you are doing that because it's time to do that. Because my thought is that when we decide we're going to do something in life, there will be things that will happen to help push us in that direction. And sometimes those things aren't necessarily desirable, but because we've decided to do those things, something is going to keep happening so we can push us in that direction. So this is very positive energy. Um, it feels good. It feels, again, peaceful. It feels joyful. There's growth. There's also inner reflection here. And I think that may be like a piece of advice um, to remind you to look within, to do some meditation, to remind yourself if you somehow think you've forgotten your purpose. You have not forgotten. It's in there. So reflect. This could also mean, I got this in um, a reading recently. Like, just pause for a minute, you know, and just look and say, okay, there's so many things that I want to get done. There's so many good things happening. Like, even if you don't see this, like this energy, and there's nothing you could do about this. <laughs> and that's a good thing. Like, it's it's time. So you're going to get what you're supposed to get. You're going to produce what you're supposed to produce. Just make more of a conscious effort. But again, that reflection, always pause and have your reflection. Just breathe and be proud of yourself. And remember that you have the power to do what is yours to do. You have the equipment, the tools, whatever is needed. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. And let's see. Okay. So there's astrologically, there's Aries energy here. That's creative. That's that passion, go getter type energy. There's Libra energy here, which is the polar opposite of um, Aries, which helps to balance. And there's that Leo. There's some more vitality, creativity. So this is very good. Um, what I'm going to do before we go, I'm going to do a, um, an oracle card. These are from the Life Purpose Oracle deck. Let's pull one of those because I know a lot of people right now in 2020 have been kind of like having to reflect more about their life purpose and readjust because some people have lost jobs and then they're like you know what why don't I start that business I wanted to start or so people have been redirected it seems but divine timing you know so again this could be one of those situations where things look like it wasn't good but you get to do something positive with that energy so this card says, let go, walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. So if there isn't a situation, a relationship, um, maybe even a job, like I was saying, but this is surrender. So maybe in your reflection time, you can realize that it's time to just let go and let go meaning if you have been fighting what you were supposed to be doing okay say for example if you were in a relationship that you know was really you really just 
thought, oh, this is not where I want to be. But you stayed. Like, there was, like, nothing, like, majorly wrong that you could, like, really, quote, unquote, justify leaving. But it just doesn't sit well. For example, sometimes people stay in relationships because they have children with the person, but they don't really love the person anymore. They're just basically roommates that have children in common. So this could be an example of that. You know, it's time to let go. So you know if that's your situation or not. And it could be also, oh, this is coming to man. If you are a parent, and you have children that are dealing with certain things and you're trying your best to help them manifest a certain situation in their life, you may need to just surrender that issue to the universe, to the divine, to the source, whatever you call it, to your higher self. So again, in your reflection time, in your meditation, let go. Intentionally say, this situation I cannot control. Help me to just release, let go, and all will be well. Because a lot of times what happens is when we let things go like that, things that we shouldn't be trying to control or hold on to anyway, then it works out, which is what this card says, to walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. Okay, and since we're doing moon sign readings, I'm going to do pull a card with one of my new decks. Oh, I, love it. I love it. These are Moonology Oracle cards. I, I, I just have too many decks. Well, no, I don't have too many decks. I really, really like decks. Moonology. So what is the message for people with their moon sign? Be bold and make the first move. Be bold and make the first move. All right, if that's not an Aries message, I don't know what it is. Go on and get you, hunty. Create, be the magician. Bring the justice to your life. Fulfill your karma. And karma is not a bad word. I know lots of times we use it that way or we think if karma it just is. You know, you give, you receive, what you what you put out, you get back, what you've contracted, you have to do. So be your karma, fulfill your contract, do your thing. This is wonderful. Go and handle your business. Use that Aries energy to do what is yours to do. Okay? You go ahead, moon and Aries. May the force of healing be with you. I say.